crafty paint pouring addicts. I am um, I'm gonna be doing one of the challenges today and the challenge was for flag day uh, so the you can do any style painting you want but it has to have red white and blue so I have my white base down and I decided to when I challenge myself I like to challenge myself sometimes outside of my borders um, I'm not great with string pulls, so I decided today to use this opportunity to try to do a string pull. And let me get my little skewer here. So what I have here is a combination of red and blue and a touch of silver. And I'll probably add just a touch more of this red. I want to have a pretty good red in with all this blue. So. And then what I'm going to come back in here and do is my silver. And you don't necessarily think of silver for Flag Day, but if you think about it, a lot of the American um, patriotic uh, holidays have fireworks to them. So um, I was going to try to add blue and silver, I mean uh, gold and silver, but I'm just going to add a touch of silver. So this is what we're going to be working with today. And the silver tends to drop down to the very bottom. But we're going to come in here and we're going to start layering our string. And bring this around. And let's see, bring it around this way. And just start getting the paint on top of the string um, as best you can. It's uh, kind of free form, but that's okay. Uh, just come in here and make sure everything gets pushed down into the paint really well so that you have good coverage. So I want to push this down until I can't see the red and white anymore. I just see uh, color. So, oop, I got one more little spot there. So I'm gonna start bringing this up, and I'm gonna come over here and do a nice. Oh. Uh, nice big string pull and yeah, we can do that and I'm going to just start pulling it out awesome pretty much kind of where I wanted to go with that and believe me this is probably the best string pull I've ever done so I'm ecstatic that I got one down Maybe we can get a couple more in here without me, oops, without me screwing it up as I put my paper towel right into the wet paint. But that's all right. So I'm gonna come in here again and run our string up and down. Um, I'm glad I cut these a little bit longer so that I had enough space to do a pretty good pull. And we're going to come back in here and do the same thing as we did before. We're going to get this to where we can't see that uh, red and white string. And get our string completely covered with paint. Because um, that's when you're going to get the best results. So, last piece right here. And then what I do is... When I'm lifting the string, I lift it this way so I can get a little bit of the excess off. So when I bring it over, it's not going to be dripping all the way over everywhere. And it just did there a little bit, but that's all right. Very good. And I'm going to use this one again. I think I can. Uh, um, yeah, I, 
could have definitely done a little bit better on that one, but that's okay. I'm still impressed that I haven't screwed this up completely. So, bring our string back up. Oh, and I do not like when I do that. I'm pulling this all the way through and last swipe I'm going to see if I can't kind of swipe that boo-boo that I made right on out of there so we're going to get this completely saturated with our color one more time and just make sure we have everything in there and coated so I'm going to come up here and do, whoops. And bring it down this way. Whoops. Not bad. <sighs> and I have one string left. Let's see. See what I can do with this last string. And I'm going to put this in here. And I will probably add a little bit of paint to this. Um, I used a combination of old leftover paints for some of this and a few new ones. Um, so we're going to go back in here and I still have a touch of red left. Um, I used two different reds, both left over from other projects. So um, that's cool. It gives me a chance to use up some extra paint. And um, I'm liking the fact that you can see just touches of silver here and there. I'm going to come back in here with my Primal Flow um, Voyage Blue. And kind of come in here like this. And come back in here with my silver one last time. And just make sure my silver goes through all of my colors. Very good. Let's see what we can get out of this. Let's see what we can come up with. I'll just do something kind of hopefully cool and creative. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to come in here and do something like this. Uh, Very good. Okay. Want you swinging all over my house. Yep. And as usual, I got paint on me. I do have an apron downstairs, but you think I would think to wear it? Nah. Not this girl. I'm just come up here and I get so excited about painting I forget to put anything on to protect my butt. But Guarantee you, anybody that sees me will know I'm an artist because all my clothes have paint hanging all over them. So, um, I think I might come in here with maybe one more right in through here. 
Um, and then I think that'll probably be about it. Um, I think this came out better than most of my string pulls. In fact, this is one that I'm actually not too disappointed in. Um, and we'll come back in here with our string one last time. And make sure we get some color on here. Let's see, how do I want to do this? No, I don't want you there. Ah, probably should have let that one go and not do any more. But that's okay. I'm reasonably happy. Let's see if I can uh, maybe make a little red stem here. There we go. Let's bring this down just a touch. Um, and maybe come up here and do a little red stem right here. Uh, kind of let that go over the side. And then come in here and maybe do a little bit of red stem here. Do a little bit of a red stem right up through the middle. And again, let's just bring that color up a little bit. All right, guys. Well, this is my um, homage to the red, white, and blue for Flag Day. It's got the colors of the flag. And instead of trying to do a safe pour that, you know, I knew I can bang out. Uh, I decided to try to do something a little bit different. So, um, hence what I ended up with. Hope you guys liked it. Um, when you do some of these challenges, challenge yourself to go and do a technique that you have not had a lot of success with. And the more practice you do at some of these things, the better you're going to get. And I am liking just these little teeny cells. I might, uh, might bring some of this up just a little bit. And bring it down just a little bit. Oop. I'm determined to wear more paint on me than I have on my canvas. I don't know why I'm determined to do that, but I seem to be doing nothing but putting paint on me, not on the canvas. <laughs> or I should say, I'm putting it on the canvas, but I put just as much on me. So, oh well, that's okay. Everything is washable, right? So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it inspires you to try something outside of your comfort zone. That's pretty much where you'll get your most interesting pieces is outside of your comfort zone. And in trying something new that you haven't done before or maybe haven't had success with before. And uh, seeing what you can get out of it. Um, I'd like to have just a touch more red in here so I might Bring a little bit of a red stem down here. And maybe just bring this red all the way up. All right, I'm going to walk away from this one. Um, not touch it anymore before I screw it up, but good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna kind of work on getting I have one or two little spots here that I get extra paint on, but that's easy enough to fix. And I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, it's only paint, so be creative. Try something outside of your comfort zone. Try something completely different. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.